right? And and then the TH is, is the one that you pretty much don't uh, notice much airflow in comparison to other fricative sounds. Right. right? So that's why I think it's a uh, it's uh, a little um, nonsense to say that uh, you should uh, advise students to blow out air, right? Because right. even if you pronounce isolated in an isolation, you're not going to see that. Right. Except, it would, right. It's, except uh, it, in yeah. those cases when you're emphasizing, you, you're, you're just putting some emphasis on, on a word, right? As I mentioned. Sure. Uh, you would be emphasizing if you were making a speech or if you were on the stage, if you were yeah. trying to make a lot of noise. Mm -hmm. That's true. Yeah. So we have Tommy Trimble through, through the thimble. The thimble. Through, through the, the, the transom. Transom. That's right. Transom. Tra you know what a transom is, right? That kind of window. That, yeah. Uh, it's like, sort of round window that yeah. we, we have in some... Uh, uh, bathrooms or houses and, and rooms. Right, uh, so now it, it, when we introduce this to our students, we have to spend uh -huh. about two minutes finding a picture on the internet. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. a picture paints a thousand words. Oh, ah, it's <laughs> terrific. And so when we think about um, use of Skype in the classroom, have you actually used Skype? You don't have a connection to Skype in your classroom, right? No, unfortunately, uh, we don't have so far, right? We're right. just uh, looking forward. Uh, I mean, uh, our uh, our school is just trying to to get a little more equipped, uh, and I think uh, in a in a little while, I think we're gonna we're gonna have that. Well, I can tell you a short story about me and Skype. Uh, mm -hmm. Last week, I needed to speak with uh, one of my old professors uh, who is in Switzerland. So I had my Skype set up in my classroom because as soon as my first period ended at 10.50, I was going to call him. And uh, he also has Skype. And during the middle of my class, I get a call. Boom, 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 boom. You know, the typical uh, uh, sound from Skype. So, my students were interested. Some of them had never used Skype before. So, it was a nice interruption. It was Very a good and uh, unexpected uh, d uh, class. That's uh, right. right. A different class in, right. in the middle of your class. That, that's and fantastic. That's pretty much what I'm uh, actually looking forward to doing with you. You know, as soon as we get ourselves, you know, some equipment there uh, that would enable us to have Skype, uh, Skype in our classroom, I, I'm, I'm, I would be really, really interested in doing something like that. I think so. And um, for our presentation in uh, Boston, it will be very okay. nice to have some examples in the classroom of some video. So when you are, mm -hmm. when you're all ready, we can. Um, have sure. a tele uh, have a video camera here so we yeah. can record mm -hmm. some sp some footage for the uh, the future. This is what this is what we call video conference. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's excellent. But you know, uh, Steve. Uh, also, uh, going back a little about uh, going a little back about this uh, tongue twister thing, yeah. right? I, I actually uh, do exactly what you're doing there. Third. I. Uh, I supervise my student to do it to pronounce those tongue twisters very slowly at first, step by step, and I just let them know that the words are all nonsense. That, that there's no meaning there, you know. It's kind of nonsense, but uh, because the purpose is uh, solely for practicing uh, pronunciation, and, and and then step by step, uh, I I speed up, you know. And, sure. And, and some of them they actually get so well uh, trained that in the long run they're already doing something like Tommy Trimble through the, the thimble through the trance and try to trace the thimble that Tommy Trimble through. Wow, <laughs> that's good. They get the entire uh, tongue twister. That's nice. They, they do, and they actually, and they uh, ultimately get the picture. They understand yeah. how the sound is produced in a more natural way. I think that's, a, that's one of my purposes. 
I like that. That's good. Um, I have two projects that I'm working on, and I hope your students would like to participate. Mm -hmm. um, one is actually three. So first one, send us YouTube videos that um, are really interesting and also that perhaps describe some part of your country. Because I'm going to show these videos to people from Korea and from Europe who only think, oh, Brazil is uh, Rio de Janeiro, uh, yeah. Carnival. That's all yeah. Brazil. So the uh, it's either carnival or soccer, right? Yes, that's right, right, right. So there's more to Brazil, and I invite your students to send me YouTube links. Now, second project is um, I'm looking for really interesting um, websites. For example, I use something called Zamzar, Z A M Z A R. Are you uh -huh. familiar I'm with aware of that? Ah, oh, you yes. heard about it. Right. You told me about it. <laughs> See, you're paying attention. That's good. Yes. Uh -huh. And it is, uh, it has changed how I teach. Because now, when I say, oh, there's a very good YouTube uh, movie for all of my class to watch. They say, okay, but my... Uh, internet is not so strong and I'm having a hard time and I just say okay here it is on a CD and I give it to them and th this is very powerful because I know that they will not be distracted they can listen to the same CD again and again so um, if your students can send uh, very interesting websites like somebody out there, probably some of your students probably know about a wonderful website that mm -hmm. is very useful. And it, in fact, it was only 10 days ago that I heard about something called scribed. You know how the, we have the word describe yes, in English? Yes. Well, you take uh -huh. away the DE, so now you just yeah. have scribe. Scribe. Right. And then, you know, the past tense would be described. Oh, yes. Right? Uh -huh. So you take away uh -huh. the other E, so you just have scribed. Mm -hmm. Scribed. So it, it's fabulous. They have uh, many books available for downloading. Mm -hmm. Books! Free books! I love free <laughs> books. So... If they find very good books unscribed, that would be nice. But I want them to send me their favorite videos. Okay. Now, the third project is collecting songs. But there are YouTube videos, especially with lyrics. That's all you see on the, the screen. You just see the words while you're hearing the song. So, and it's not a music video. No, it's almost karaoke. You're hearing the, so the sound, the person is singing, but they have the words. And this is excellent in the classroom because I can turn the sound off and then I scroll through the words. So there's a wonderful song by Lenka. Are you familiar with Lenka? No. 